Do you feel that a person leaving your group will result in them leaving God? Well, first, the first question is, do we have a group? And the answer to that is no, we don't have one. So it's impossible for anybody to leave a group that we don't actually have. Uh, secondly, if, if they were leaving any group, um, I don't believe that they will disconnect from God necessarily. So whether a person is connected to God or not is got, has got nothing to do with what groups they're in. It's got everything to do with their personal practices that are either in harmony or out of harmony with divine love and divine truth. So my suggestion to a person is, is to understand that their relationship with God is personal, that they have a personal feeling that they can develop with God and they can receive truths from God personally. They have the ability to go through this process in the, in, in the way in which we've described when we've teach, taught the divine truth to others. And, and they don't have to worry about whether they need to be with a group or not because they, there is no group to be with. It's an individual practice that they would need to choose to engage with God if they're going to practice it. And they don't have to even choose to practice it. They can just listen and never practice it for the rest of their lives if, that, if that's what they want to do. So my feelings are that uh, if a person leaves our so-called group that we don't have, there is no dangers whatsoever uh, in, in doing such a thing. The danger, though, is in attaching themselves to any belief structure or belief system that is out of harmony with love and truth. As soon as you attach yourself to a belief system that is out of harmony with love and truth, you are automatically going to experience some pain and suffering through the choices that you're making. And that's where I feel the dangers actually lie, attaching yourself to belief systems that are not in harmony with love and truth. Mm. Mm.